Okay, she used the word spectacular. Mm. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Looking ahead to this weekend for an event you don't want to miss, staff at Big Paws K9 are getting ready for one of its biggest fundraisers so they can continue their mission of taking care of disabled veterans and former first responders. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at their facility in Ainer with details on the annual chili cook-off. That's right. Take a look at this. Well, first of all, we're in your beautiful facility. You've done a lot, and then... We've got the grill going, some chili on there, getting ready to cook some stuff up this morning. Talk a little bit about the event. Well, this is our annual chili cook-off. Um, we do this every year for the benefit of providing service dogs to our disabled veterans. Um, this facility looks a little different from, from last time. Yeah. We've got our office set up, we've got our training facility almost there. Um, part of this benefit is going to be to close in this area so that we can use this for um, training for group classes and individual classes. Uh, but our chili cook-off is this Saturday, May 7. It's from 10 to 2 in the Ainer Town Park. We've got vendors coming out. We've got chili participants. And for a $5 donation, you can taste all of the chilies. Yum. Um, we've actually got a uh, local celebrity choice. We're going to have Crystal and Matt there. Yes, they as are well going as to Eddie and Alex. Um, they're going to go ahead and do an award. Um, as well as a People's Choice Award, and then we do a Big Paws Choice Award. Very so nice. Fun. Yeah, well, um, you kind of saw out here in the big space you have, and then let's come in here, too, and show off uh, just everything that you've you've done. I mean, it, it looks great, and it, it does look a lot different than we were here before, and uh, we were about to bust down the walls, right? Exactly. We had no walls up. Uh, we've got the walls up now. We've got the um, office area as well as the facilities. Uh, we've got some training materials, we've got some training toys here and some handicap accessible um, items that we use for training. Uh, we've got some wheelchairs and things like that that we get the dogs used to, um, especially with the motorized scooters. Um, getting them neutralized to the, the noises and the scents and the smells of them. Right, and this is a big deal because you train these dogs to help out disabled veterans. So uh, you can come out and have some chili and guys, I know you'll be there. That's getting right. hungry looking at that chili this morning. The yes. chili cook-off is happening this Saturday at Town Park from 10 to 2. Matt, you and I, this will be our first public event together. Yes, I'm real excited. We're, I don't know what qualifies us for this, but we are going to be judging <laughs> That's right. I can judge chili. some chili, all right? I am qualified, <laughs> I promise. And for a $5 donation, you can judge too. You can actually try eight or more chilies. You get to vote for your favorite, and then awards are going to be handed out. So we'll be there. Uh, Alex Heaton's going to be there. Eddie, our new reporter as well. So come say hi to the ABC 15 crew. We are just days away from a fierce competition that benefits veterans and their best friends. You can even try out the competitors' chili dishes and vote for your favorite. Yeah, you're using the term fierce lightly, right? ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at Big Paws Can on this morning in Ainer to explain. I'm getting hungry, Amanda. Well, you would be even hungrier if you could smell it because my air is starting to smell good already, <laughs> right? We've got Steve the Chili Master over here, and he's getting ready to put in his secret ingredient over here. I'm sure you don't want to tell viewers what that is, but it's an award-winning, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Actually, 2014, it was the uh, vote of the best chili. All right. Well, that looks delicious. Now, what about you? you do you make chili, too? Not as often. Not as often? <laughs> Not as often. <laughs> you leave it to him, <laughs> yep. right? He's the master. Absolutely. So people can come out and eat chili all for a good cause. And what a, what a fun event. This is a big deal for you guys. It is. Um, the, the summertime is mostly the time that we do a lot of the funding that's going to bring us through the, the rest of the year. Um, this event is purely just for family, for fun, for veterans. Um, anyone can come out for a $5 donation and taste any of the chilies. We've got raffle prizes, we've got drawings, we've got um, vendors that are out there as well. Um, and it's just a, it's a fun afternoon. We outgrew this facility last year. We had about 100 people here. So we're going to do it at Anner Park on this Saturday. That's good. Grow and get big. And you'll probably have some dogs out there too, right? We will. Talk about yeah. what it is you guys do. Um, we provide service dogs for our disabled veterans. Um, these dogs are trained, um, customized to the veteran, depending upon their disability. Um, for example, Boom is my medical alert dog. Um, he is also a backup dog for my husband, Steve, for his mobility. So he is trained to, to help him in that manner, where Diesel is primarily Steve's service dog trained for PTSD yeah. and mobility issues. Yeah, Diesel's hiding back there. Does Diesel ever help Steve make the chili, too? N not necessarily. <laughs> he would like to. <laughs> yeah, and I bet he would like to taste it, too, right? Mm -hmm. They can do the taste test, maybe, guys. Mm -hmm.
What a wonderful cause there. Yeah. And again, looking good. I'm looking forward to being a judge in the cook-off. Should yes. be a lot of fun. We'll both be there. Again, it's happening this Saturday at Ainer Town Park from 10 to 2. There will be vendors, raffle prizes, and chili tasting. In fact, for a $5 donation, you can taste eight or more chilies and vote for your favorite. Thank you, Alina. Amanda Kenseth is so lucky. She gets chili for breakfast. Absolutely. We're looking ahead to this weekend. Staff at Big Paws Canine are getting ready for one of its biggest fundraisers so they can continue the mission of taking care of disabled vets and first or former first responders. Hey, a guilt-free reason to get some chili this weekend. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at the facility in Ainer before the chili cook-off. That's right, and chili for breakfast can't get any better. And come on, uh, let's be honest, it's coming up on our lunchtime because we get up <laughs> so early every day. So let's take a look over here. He's he's uh, the chili master is now putting in some more ingredients. He already put in the secret ingredients, yeah. and uh, this is all for a good cause. Families coming out, people bringing their chili out to try to wow everyone. All you have to do is give a donation, and uh, it goes to Big Paws Canine. Mm -hmm. It gets a little competitive too. Um, we've got about eight. <laughs> to 12 chilies that are going to be out there. Anything from um, your standard, you know, meat with beans. You've got your vegetarian chilies. We've got a whole bunch of different takes on it. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. For a $5 donation, you get to taste all the chilies. And then there's some raffle prizes and things like that that we've got going on. And all the proceeds go towards supporting the service dogs to our disabled veterans and first responders. That's right. What, why do you guys do this? We started this almost 10 years ago. Um, we had a dear friend of ours take ill, and he was in a medically induced coma for 11 months. We brought Nitro, who is our um, oldest lab, he is the original Big Paws, um, into the facility. And what we saw with the turnaround of the patients, as well as um, our friend Chris, was amazing. Chris is alive and well today. He is fully employed and, and living a functional life. So we knew we were onto something. Uh, when my husband Steve got hurt, Diesel tuned into his pain level, and we said, okay, we, we need to give back. So there are 22 service members and women um, who are taking their lives by their own hand every day. And we know that we've gotten at least four of those phone calls before they've taken their own life. Well, it's good that you know you have the stories and uh, what you are doing does help, and that's such a great thing. And such a great thing, too, is that you can help just by eating some of this chili, you know? <laughs> you guys, I know you're going to be judging this stuff. I'll <laughs> send it back to you. There's a sneak peek. <laughs> Again, yeah, they didn't have to ask me twice. Why mm -hmm. not? But so wonderful. Those uh, dogs are great. The chili cook-off is happening this Saturday at Ainer Town Park. Come on out, 10 to 2. There will be vendors, raffle prizes, and for a $5 donation, you can actually taste eight or more chilies and even get to vote for your favorite. There's going to be multiple awards, so we can't wait. Well, we are just days away from a fierce competition that benefits veterans and their best friends. You can even try out the competitors' chili dishes and vote for your favorite. And our Amanda Kenseth is live at Big Paws Canine this morning in Ainer to tell us all about it. They've been out there cooking chili. It looks so delicious. The chili smells delicious, and we're going to give it a taste test in a minute. But first, we want to show you some of the things that uh, these dogs learn to do. And uh, it may just look like getting a treat out of a bottle, but there's really a lot more to this. Mm -hmm. um, Boom is my medical alert dog, so he does a lot of nose work. Um, what this is teaching him is to find the bottle that has the treat in it, um, but then it's also teaching him that he needs to use his nose or his paw to tip it over to actually get the treat out of it. <laughs> and so it's a great skill to learn, and he gets a treat, you know? Absolutely. Now, I'm going to use my nose to find the pot <laughs> with the chili treat, and uh, I think that's in here. We're going to come She's on over. Hey, you've been uh, feasting, slaving away all morning, the big old chili master over here, Steve. Is he ready? That's ready. Ready for me to dip in? I'm ready for you to try it. All right. Let's get a little bite out here. Let me... Let me blow on it in a minute so I don't burn my mouth here. Uh, this is uh, an event you actually won a couple years ago, right? Yes, this is actually the award-winning chili. And actually at the chili contest, I call it Diesel Dozer's Full Load Chili. His, <laughs> his full name is Diesel Dozer. So. Oh, okay. And Diesel Dozer is very important to you. Talk about why. Yeah, Diesel actually is, is my mobility assistance dog as well as PTSD. Um, as you see right now, I've been standing up there on the concrete for a while, so he's like, I'm staying between your legs, and I'm going to give you that support. So if, if I started swaying some, he's going to sit up and actually put his shoulders in between my knees 
So that way it gives me a little bit of support that way as well. Right. We even saw him uh, supporting you while you were um, sweeping earlier. Yeah. So yeah. he's always there for you. Yep. All right. Now the moment of truth. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I taste those special spices you put in there. That, now I see why that's a winner. Well, guys, you are in for a treat. I know that uh, Crystal and Matt are going to be out here judging yeah. together. So that's going to be a lot of fun. People can come out. It's family friendly. Come out. I think I... I think I need a whole bowl of this this morning. It's, it's about lunchtime, right, guys? Our lunch, yeah, right? Yeah, for us, anyway, <laughs> since we've been up for a while. Man, she's making that look real good. Ugh. The chili cook-off is happening this Saturday at Anertown Park from 10 to 2. There's going to be vendors, raffle prizes, and for a $5 donation, you can try eight or more chilies and vote for your favorite. And again, you and I judging, as well as Alex and Eddie from our weekend cruise. So we're going to have a full ABC 15 team. We would not pass up that opportunity. And again, it's all helping out with those uh, smart doggies. That's too. right.